We're now going to add a simple blog to the Swift Migration site using the Perch blog app. And you can see that I've got some example HTML here. This is just an HTML page with a design for the blog and then we've got some detail pages as well. So this is what we're going to work from to build up our blog. The first thing we need to do is actually install the blog app. You can download that from the Perch site. Once you've downloaded the blog app, you'll find there's a folder. And inside that, add-ons, apps, you'll find this Perch blog folder. So if we copy that, and this needs to go into your site, so inside Perch, add-ons, apps, there's the forms app that we added earlier, and we add Perch blog. So once you've done that, if you go into your code, And if we find apps.php, and there's Perch Forms, and now we're adding Perch Blog. Let's go to the Perch Admin. And you see that Blog has now appeared in the uh, navigation here, so we can click on that. I can see a basic blog page here. I've got no posts yet. Now, blog integrates with the Categories app. So if we go to Categories, you can see that installing blog has added this category set called blog. And so what we can do here is add some categories. So if we add a couple of categories, And then if we go back to the blog app, and we can start by adding a post. You see here is a default form for adding a post. Now, just as with everything else in Perch, this post form is something that you can change. You can edit this, and we'll have a look at that later. You can see here the categories that we added have shown up. So you can add all sorts of fields. But for now, what we want to do is add a few test posts. I'll quickly add some content just to show you a couple of things. So once you've saved a post, either in draft or in published mode, you get a tab here, Meta and Social. So you can have a look at that. And you can see here is a place to add things like the Facebook open graph tags. Um, you can set you know, what type of thing this is for Facebook. You can add a sharing image and you can add tags as well. So this again is all configurable. You can change this template, but we have some default things in here, which are the sort of things that people tend to want to use. As yet, nothing is displaying on your site. You're adding posts into the back end of Perch, but just like everything else, you need to create some pages to display the posts how you want them in Perch. And so in the next video, we'll have a look at how to start outputting posts that you've entered to your blog.